Good afternoon guys, I managed to get out and as you can see, it's a beautiful day. I've picked a spot, I've got my seat, I've got the seat today. My bag's next to me. <laughs> Binoculars, I've got all, all my equipment. The only thing I forgot was the flask. <laughs> I can do without that today, I've got the juice. The orange juice, so... Anyway, I've picked a good spot. I'll turn you around. I'm at the edge of Leafy's Wood. There's Leafy's Wood behind me. I've picked this spot. This is my great view. And I'm hoping to get film of the buzzards or find out where they're nesting from the other day because I've, I've heard a few calls. So as Leafy's Wood. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm at the edge of Leafy's Wood looking over into Heathfield and my beautiful view where I normally see a lot of the buzzards, the sparrowhawk, I've seen red kites here, I've seen, oh, I've seen everything here. So, it's a great uh, vantage point for me for overlooking to see where all the different bird life and animal life is. Yeah. So I'll spend maybe an hour here and maybe an hour over into Heathfield to see what I can get on film. Yeah. Still a bit windy, not as much as yesterday. Did you see that storm yesterday? God. I could not get out, I was so frustrated, but what I did instead, I did a couple of watercolours and I did a, a few little uh, jobs on the computer, on the laptop, so yeah, and you can see I've got a fence here in front of me, it's like a barrier, but that's Heathfield, that's for the sheep to keep in, sheep it, to keep it in there, but Heathfield is empty of sheep, so we're fine. No men, no, no noises of sheep today <laughs> for the for the wildlife film. I'm just looking up because I can see a couple of birds, but I think they're crows. Yeah, I think they're crows. They're up there. Yeah, they're definitely crows. Right, I don't want to film them just now. Only if they're chasing buzzards. That's when it gets a bit exciting. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, as I, you've seen the vlog for earlier on, I was letting you know that the works is doing a special offer on the sketchbook, so that's good. I might get myself another couple just to top up while they're on special. And I was up getting some uh, treasures. I took up for a doctor's appointment, so I killed, as I says, I killed two birds with one stone, so I went for treasures as well, as you've seen, just a couple. Anyway. Uh, let's see what we can find here, uh, round about, because I'm going to spend an hour here, I says, and then maybe another hour of this, so it's a couple of hours we're going to be out. Yeah, great. I see someone. Look. Wait a minute, is that? That's no... Remember I says to you, the red fox's tail. Look. I'm sure that's what I can see there. Let's have a look. Zoom in. You see it? Just there, guys. Just there. I'm whispering because it's very, very close. Just there. There's a hint of a red tail with a white spot. That could be him. Yeah. I've got to keep quiet now. I'll get the camera out. Yeah. Disappeared again. I'm going to get the, the, the wee camera out. I can't hear this. No filming this. You'll never believe it. <laughs> I just got the camera out and it disappeared. I'm sure that was the red tail of the fox. Yeah. He's disappeared again. Disappeared, guys. <laughs> Don't see him. 
Oh well, maybe another time. You, you, you must admit that was definitely looked like the, the red tail, didn't it? Just like the other day when it was in the snow. Yeah. Oh well. Let's carry on with this though. Let's, I've got the camera out now, so may as well get some footage. <laughs> I'm hoping that at some point in the near future, spring-wise, I'll zoom in a little bit for you, let you see the scenery. I'm hoping in the near future I'm going to get that green woodpecker on film as well, for you to see, which would be great. The birds are all making weird noises as if there's a predator about. That fox must be still round about here. So I'm just going to have a wee search about, guys. See if... Hear the birds? They're putting out little alarm calls. I'm searching everywhere. No sign of them, guys. Yeah. I can smell that musky smell, know what I mean? So he, he is about here somewhere. Yeah. Anyway, let's carry on. We may get him again. Uh, get a drink. <laughs> Thirsty work as I says, out filming. I just climbed that hill you see, Leafy's Hill. Yeah I could have sworn that was uh, his tail again, his brush. But not to worry, as I says, we'll get them on film one day. So, uh, when I go back, I planned, I'm going to be doing, I know I always say this, but I'm going to be doing some more uh, Garden of Eden paintings because that was one that sold this morning and I noticed they are going down a bit. I've still got about maybe 20 up in the EB shop, but I need to paint more so that I have ample uh, in stock. No point if you run out and the people are looking for the, the paintings and you run out, so yeah. This is lovely. Oh another thing, I'm gonna be do taking you to a different venue just shortly. Uh, let's have a seat. I'm gonna be going up the moors as well soon. So I'll need to get the I'll need to get the old bicycle all uh, tipped up in top condition, ready for, I need to oil it, ready for the bicycle ride up the moors, you know where I go, eh? Sheriff Moors, uh, all in that area, there's a whole vast area of heathland, moorland, uh, but that'll be, that'll be near the summertime I think, eh? But I might take a, an exploratory trip up there uh, in the next few days just to see what it's about. I've got to get my bearings, you see. I've got to go in these different areas. I have to go and see uh, what animals and whatever's about. I'm trying to get a, best, a good place to put this camera. Try there, that's better. Yeah. I'm going to go and scout the area to just see what kind of well it is because there's been a lot of, if you understand, there's been a lot of forestry work up there last year. They were building pylons and uh, cutting down a lot of the forests and whatever up there. So I have to go and scout to see uh, where the animals, the deer and whatever, 
the pheasants, uh, the caper keelies and whatever. Uh, not to mention the lizards and the snakes. There's lizards and snakes up there. So I hope we get some of that on film for you to have a look at. But yeah, I'm going to be spending parts of the summer up there uh, on, the, on the moors. But I have to go up my scout about to see uh, where, where all the animals are shifted to because it's been, I think it's been two or three years anyway since I've been up there, especially with the pandemic, it was two solid years. I couldn't go up that then. So, uh, yeah, that'll be good. Another little adventure for you. I'll give you a change away from Leafy's Wood here. So, as I says, I'm going to be doing maybe later on this afternoon the Garden of Eden. Some Garden of Eden painting, some, some newer ones, some fresh ones, get some of them started and painted. And also have a look at my my electric bicycle, my e eco bike, eh, just to see what's needing done to that. I know it's needing a new battery, but I can't afford a new battery at the moment. They're £140 with shipping, it's £150 for a new battery, so <laughs> that'll need to wait just now. Eh, it keeps half charged just now, so that's enough to get me up the moors. Uh, if I sell a few paintings, then maybe I can get a new battery. But anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you just now, because I'm going to go away into Heathland. And this morning's vlog should have been uploaded by now, so when I go home, I'll upload this. You'll probably see this late at night or early in your morning, wherever you are in the world. In the world. So, yeah, and we'll keep an eye out. Because I'm sure that was a, a fox tail brush. It was just like the other day when I seen it. Anyway, not to worry, we'll get them one day. So I'll say bye bye for now and <laughs> let's get filming. Stop the boy then.